Hey everybody, Tony D and little Joan is off camera somewhere. Got her new fluffy thing for the bottom of her crate. So she's enjoying that. Uh, gonna do a screenwriter's rant on the rookies. Mila Jovovich. Jovovich, that's how you say that? I love her. I love her from The Fifth Element. Lilu from The Fifth Element and also from the uh, that zombie series. What is it called? Resident Evil. She's good. She's fun. Uh, she's one of the few people who were like models and then turned into uh, uh, like, uh, I would say a good action actor, you know? She's not a great actress, but she's a good action action person. Uh, she's fun. I like her a lot. Um, this movie's called The Rookies, and it's a sci-fi, it's built as a sci-fi movie, but I, I would call it more of an action movie, like a futuristic action movie. And she is part of the Phantom Knights, which is some sort of ancient Masons order. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a, a convoluted startup, but the movie looks pretty kick-ass. Um, before I continue, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books, Woke a Stand a Novel, and Holly Woke Another Novel, Political Satire. Also, The Pineys horror comedy in South Jersey. Links in the description. And follow me on BitChute and Rumble. Now, here she is uh, offering a new job to a new guy. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Um, and he's, uh, you know, he is the, I guess he's the rookie. Now, here she pulls off the thing off her, uh, like, cufflink, and then she knocks out all these people, somehow not knocking out herself. Oh, here's the new recruit. Yeah, I guess he's going to be the rookie because he's super smart or whatever. And uh, he's going, going to be their new James Bond. And then she just shows up and starts kicking butt left and right. And she she's just kicking ass. I mean, Mila's good at this. Uh, she's, she's beautiful. She's in shape. She looks a little butch in this movie, but I could be okay with that. Here she, like, gets into a big fight a big sort of chop socky fight kicks out this briefcase with a bomb in it and it blows up outside so it's pretty cool um and then she says you know once you accept you can never go back and there's all sorts of stunts here and explosions sign me up sign me up uh, this looks like a cool stunt here it looks like they they put some effort and uh uh you know it looks clever you know in terms of the uh, stunt work and this is her I guess she's doing acupuncture on herself. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> so that's probably part of the movie. It doesn't really get into the story, which would be my only criticism of the trailer. So here's the new guy. He's already, already ready to go. Um, so director and writer Al Yuen. And uh, so I guess this is his script. There's a lot of... I guess they're, uh, I, these look like Chinese names. So there's a lot of Chinese actors in this. Um, so I would expect that, there, you know, I mean, there's a lot of uh, martial arts in it. So I would expect that that would be, I don't know why they call it a sci-fi movie. I think they should call it an action movie. It looks to be just choked with action. Uh, yeah, it's Tulu Wang, uh, Sadrine Pina, Mila Jovovic, Timmy Zhu, and... Mit Tong Liu. So, uh, yeah, this looks like it's going straight to China after after it airs here, if it didn't go there already. Um, from Shout. And, oh, April 16th. So here's the, here's the uh, movie poster. They got the best. She recruited the rest. Well, that doesn't make them sound good, though. So may, maybe she's stuck with the... The also rans. Um, it also looks like the movie's already been out, so maybe it was out overseas and now they're bringing it here uh, because now things are finally kind of sorta opening up in some states. I guess you could watch it in Florida or Texas, not New Jersey. Um, but I will watch this. This is my kind of movie. It looks fun. Uh, do we have a date on this? Yes, April sixteenth. So looks fun. I would totally see this. Um, I expect to see it on. It looks like a Netflix kind of movie, but it looks it looks well done. I would say the first act is 
you know, it's typical. It, it probably follows the line of Kinsman, Kingsman. You know, first act is uh, her doing some crazy stunts, finishing a mission, and then, you know, like James Bond, and then she's got to recruit some people, and she recruits them, and they're unsure who she is or if she's just crazy, but she's really not. And then the second act is they start training, and they quickly, you know, weed out the people they don't want, and uh, the guys, you know, then there's a problem, right? Like, the training's not quite finished. There's always... This always happens. So training's not quite finished. And, oh, we got a big problem. And then the big problem happens and they got to deal with it. And, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, their lines of communication are cut or whatever. And they're forced to be full blown spies before they're ready. And then the ending is they save the day. Maybe Mila dies at the end, like they did in Kingsman. And then the new guys are going to take over in the rookies too. Um, so, yeah, I would say this. I, I would totally see this. I mean, the action looks totally solid. And for me, an action movie, that can carry me through a bad story. <laughs> you know, after a while, I'll just zoom through it and just see the stunts. But, you know, I at least want the stunts. You know, if you're not going to give me a good story, at least give me fun stunts. You know, story-wise, I'm a little shaky on this. But stunt-wise, I think it's rock solid. So, The Rookies, April 16th, Mila. Mila.